This is one of my uh, extra porch lights. His name is Camp Skunk, and he and his wife live full-time in his Class B Roadrack 190 motorhome. It's 22 feet long. Camp Skunk is known by thousands online for his expertise in small motorhomes, especially when it comes to modifying and maintaining them and then making full-time RVing economical, fun, and fulfilling. I met up with him in Florida earlier this year and got a first-hand look at road trekking Camp Skunk style. Now, how did Camp Skunk get to know so much about road trips? Well, I found out by buying one and taking it apart. <laughs> I was a mechanic back a, a long time ago, so I, I was able to use my mechanical knowledge. His motorhome is very green. He invested heavily in his own solar system, which he installed himself. About $10,000. But the important part is that that's all funny money. Any money you spend on solar equipment, you get a 30% tax credit. So it only cost me 7000 of my money, and the other 3000 is picked up by the federal government. My maximum uh, PowerPoint tracker, part of the solar system, is in the corner of the bed right here. And as you can see, the power comes down behind the TV cabinet and the wires go down to the, uh, to the inverter. And you get how much power out of that? I get 555 watts when the sun is straight up. Right now, here in the uh, middle of the winter in Florida, I'm getting around 300 watts in the middle of the day. And that will let you do what? Uh, we can watch TV and play on the internet all day long, and then once the sun goes down, you get about three or four hours. But solar is not his only source of green power. This is where the wind turbine attaches. There's a triangular brace that comes out here. You run over the base with the rear wheel and the mass goes up. He's also added extra batteries. There's one battery here, which is where the original second battery went. And here's the original battery. I made a, a mirror image battery box on the other side. And I have all this giant cable. You can see it right here. It's as big as your thumb. Uh, connecting the three batteries. It's 20 feet long. It starts here, goes, picks up the, the uh, original battery, goes across the back of other generator and then up to the inverter. This is my stowaway cargo carrier. Inside here I have my satellite dishes and uh, the tripods and the mounts and all that stuff here along with my lawn furniture and cabling and so forth. So when I get somewhere I want to stay for a while uh, I take out all the dishes and set them up and find the satellites. Yeah, I'm always online. I'm, I mean, everywhere I am, I, I can, uh, I can uh, check my uh, email and, and look at Facebook and all the other things people do online. Inside, he's done even more modifications. The regular shelves in here are kind of hard to dig around in the back of, so I made these slide-out drawers here. There are three of them, so all the food is now on this side. Over here in my armoire are all the pots and pans and dishes and, uh, and a few food items. And again, the, the, uh, here if I open this far enough, get a, here are these sliding drawers again so you can get to everything. And all, all the heavy stuff is at the bottom. That is the original drawer that was under the third seat. I just turned it around and, and built a case for it. I go wherever it's 70 degrees and sunny, and I just follow the good weather around the country uh, as the year progresses. Now this is a 2003. Yes. How long will you? How many miles do you have on this thing? Right now, it's got 120,000 miles on it. Uh, what do you anticipate for your road trekking future? I I like this chassis. I you know most of my passenger cars have gone 200,000 miles easily, so I I think I can I think it's good for another 10 years easily without having major aggravations with it. it this is a very robust chassis and and uh, is meant to go long haul. A lot of the expediters, the people who drive and deliver things in vans, use these, and also the Mercedes Sprinters. So uh, I think I've got another 10 years easily in this chassis. Tell me about Fiona the Fearless. 
Fiona the Fearless is the cat we got. We thought we knew we were going to hit the road and uh, didn't think we could have a cat, but we got her just because she was uh, so beautiful. And uh, it turned out that she loved to travel. So she is traveling with us and uh, we go around the country and she hunts small game all over North America. And I, I think I'm, I'm some kind of assistant or something. Is this pretty economical as a, as a lifestyle? Absolutely. I'm. I'm. Uh, it's. I can. I budget about uh, 500 for fuel and about 500 for groceries and so forth. And uh, and I was budgeting 500 for campgrounds, but I find I don't spend that much on that. So I use that money for other things. I think the advice that I have is. Uh, Try to figure out how it works. You know, read all the information you can about it, and things just make sense if you think about them long enough. I, that's that's how I do it anyway. Camp Skunk just turned 60 and is living his dream, traveling the country and seeing it at its best, full timing in a Class B motorhome, and loving every minute of it. Road trekking across North America. I'm Mike Wendland reporting. Thanks for watching.